Hey everyone, welcome back to Velf Creations. Today, we've got an exciting tutorial for you. Have you ever wanted to add a personal touch to your laser engraving projects? Well, you're in luck. In this video, we are going to show you how to take a handwritten note, whether it's written on an iPad, a tablet, or even just a piece of paper, and turn it into a beautifully engraved message on your projects using Xtool Creative Space software and any of the Xtool lasers. We'll walk through the entire process, from writing your message to importing it into the software and engraving it onto different materials. This is a great way to make your projects even more special and unique. So, grab your pen or stylus, and let's start creating some amazing personalized engravings. To get started, we will be using the iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil to write a simple message that we will engrave on these stainless steel bar pendants. We love using the app Procreate, but you could also do this in the Notes app. If you are using any other tablet, the most important thing is to use a plain background with a solid color for the pen. This will help later on when we use Xtool Creative Space. We will open up Procreate on the iPad and tap the plus icon in the top right corner. We don't need any special resolution for this, so we will just tap on the screen size option for the canvas size. Now we need to select a brush. The great thing about Procreate is that it has a bunch of brush styles to choose from, so you can get the exact look that you want. For this example, we will go to the calligraphy section and select the monoline brush. Now, if you have awful handwriting like I do, here is a quick tip. Open up the brushes panel and tap on the monoline brush again. This will bring up Brush Studio. From here, tap on Stabilization and increase the Streamline amount. We like to have ours around 80%. This will adjust your movements to give you a smoother look. It can only do so much with my handwriting, but it is looking much better. I am going to attempt to write, You are my sunshine. You will also want to play around with the line thickness to make each letter legible. I was able to get something that I liked on my first try. Anyways, now that we have something readable, we can open up the Layers panel and uncheck the background color. Now all we need to do is hit the Actions icon in the top right corner and click on PNG to share the image. The cool thing is that you can open this file directly with XCS if you use it on the iPad, but first let's take a look at the next steps with the computer. I will click on Import Image to add our beautiful handwritten message. So from here you have two options. You can try messing with the bitmap engraving settings, but we find that it is much easier to produce consistent results by changing this into a vector. Typically, we would do this with something like Adobe Illustrator, but Xtool has a great option, and it's free. All we need to do is click on our image, then head over to the right side of XCS and click on Trace Image. This will take a second to load the preview. We will leave this on Auto Tracing, and from here you can adjust the sliders to get the exact look that you want. However, since we used a high-quality image with a transparent background, it makes it much easier for XCS to trace the design. Once you are happy with the result, just click Save. Here is the important thing. Tracing an image doesn't remove the original image, but we don't want to include it in our engraving, so all you have to do is drag the vector down and remove the original image. From here, if you want to make any changes to the writing, you can right-click and ungroup the text. Now you can adjust the spacing between words or realign any of the words. Cool, now we can select Engrave. We will be using the F1 Ultra with the fiber laser, so we will change the settings to a power of 100%, speed to 300 millimeters per second, and lines per centimeter to 300. We will place the pendant using the alignment bracket and hit start. While this engraves, we wanna take a moment to thank all of you, our amazing subscribers. We've just reached over 5,000 subscribers in the past year, and your support means the world to us. Thank you for watching, commenting, and being a part of the Velf Creations community. If you're new here, welcome. We create videos about laser engraving, 3D printing, and so much more. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and hit that bell notification so you never miss an update. And don't forget to subscribe to join us on this creative journey. Now that the engraving is done, we can just use some rubbing alcohol and a rag to wipe down the piece, hang it on a necklace, 
And just like that, we have a beautiful handwritten piece of jewelry that we can give to our loved one. Now let's try another method. If you don't have a tablet, have no fear. You can accomplish a similar result the old-fashioned way. Grab yourself a sheet of plain white paper. We like to use printer paper. Try to avoid anything that has lines or a pattern on it. Next, you will want to look for some markers, ideally a black one to give XCS the most contrast to work with. You can play around with marker thicknesses to see what you like best. For this example, we will engrave a cutting board with our family's favorite recipe. So I will grab my marker and write out our favorite dessert recipe. Just kidding. I will use our Cricut to do it for me. For this example, let's just pretend I did it. Wow, so beautiful. Okay, now if you have a scanner, that will work best. If not, no worries, just grab a photo using your phone or iPad and import it into XCS. If you are using a computer, the next steps will be the same as the first project. However, for this cutting board, we will use the mobile app. The mobile app also has the same tracing feature as the computer, although it is a bit harder to find because it doesn't have a label and is located in a different spot. Select your image and you will see a new list of icons show up here. The one you are looking for is this one. Tap the icon and you will be presented with the similar options as the desktop version. Make any adjustments and click Save. Here, you will also want to move the vector so that you can easily delete the original PNG. Great! For the cutting board, we will select the blue light laser, a power of 100%, speed of 700 and lines per centimeter set to 200. We can position our cutting board and click Start. We can't wait to see what you create with this technique. Be sure to share your handwritten laser engraved projects with us by tagging VELF Creations on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We would love to see your amazing creations. If you have any additional questions about this project, feel free to post them in the comments below. We're here to help and can't wait to see your unique designs. Once the engraving is done on this cutting board, we also like to give it a quick wipe with some rubbing alcohol and give it a fresh coat of cutting board oil and reapply it when needed to protect it for years to come. This method is also not limited to just handwriting. We used Procreate and the tracing feature in XCS to create this fun cartoon family project that can be found on Xtool's design find site. The possibilities are endless. And with that, we would like to say thank you for watching and stay creative.